This is Ulink NAND programmer. In this video, I'm going to use this programmer to program the Meraki Z1 for OpenWRT on it. And this program allows you to program the flash if you were using the, the socket and use the power direct from the board. Or you can use the socket, program the flash on the target, uh, on the target board and you can decide if you want to get the power from this board or on the uh, target board. In my case here, the Meraki Z1 draws too much power from the 3.3 uh, volt, and I'm not going to use the 3.3 volt from this device. But I'm going to apply the 3.3 volt directly to the Meraki Z1. I found there are two ways on Meraki here to apply the 3.3 volt to the NAND chip. One way is use regular 12 volt here and the ISP pin solder short wire on this uh, component. And that way you can get reliable 3.3 volt on the uh, flash chip without powering on the CPU. And it will work quite well. Another way is we have a TTL here and I'm going to use the jumper wire to put my 3.3 volt on it. Uh, let me check. This is the positive 3.3 volt here and ground here. So let's power on and see. So if I power on, I see it says 3.7 volt because the, it draws quite a significant amount of uh, current and actually at the time it's on the board it may not have uh, let's take a look here so this is positive this is ground and even though it's it's three volts here but it is three seven four okay three seven four at here and only uh, three volt here we know it's only 3 volts, but I can increase a little bit and get closer to 3.3 volts. Now Ulink NAND uh, is connecting. Let me power off here. So I need to connect. Let me move a little bit here. Now I have the software running and uh, you can see it shows the uh, 2.97 volt at the bottom right. Let's measure it if this is accurate. I think it's quite accurate. Here, let's measure the voltage. It's 3.0. 3.03 and that will report 2.9. That's close enough. So this setup, we should be able to do some detection and programming. Yeah, we can detect the flash. Now let's first take a look of what's the current status of the, the router. This is my computer connect to the Meraki, uh, Meraki Z1 directly and access is the service website 192.168.0.1 and it was says something like this and I'm going to program the init RAM FS to this router and I should be able to access the Lucy UI. So now I'm ready to program it. First I power on and you can see the power is used. Now Let's go to the kernel one and open the init RAM FS S E C C and same as here. So let's detect it. 
and I write the kernel 1 and the kernel 2. So let's verify it. And the kernel one. Okay. Now we are ready to go to the uh, Lucy to upgrade the firmware. I just connect it and now the router IP address becomes 1.9.8.1.1.1. One one. And it goes to Lucy here. It, this is in the RAM FS. So we are going to do a system upgrade. So backup flash. And flash new firmware, we can choose. File from here. Let's go to this folder. And this one, and we can flash. Fashion verify is a little below the checksum and proceed. So it's finished. Then let's log in. And now we are at firmware 19.074R. Uh, this is the latest open WRT. And that's pretty much it. So we use the Ulink NAND to program the Meraki Z1. It's dead easy. No matter what firmware, the existing firmware it is, NAND uh, programming does not limit the by the uh, current firmware. If the latest security being patched, doesn't matter because we can program the NAND flash directly.